What's up guys, this is Ben with the Mark from the Sun here. And welcome to part 169 of Let's Play Forza 1. So, it's been a few hours later now, and I am ready to go back to this, uh, uh, prototype series. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, I went by, uh, nine seconds, I believe, over in the other Bentley Speedway, who I actually got second for once. And, um, yeah, there we go. And also, the, uh, Panos was, uh, was there the, I don't know which one it was, I already forgot already, frick me. But, uh, no, 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 I think it was the Cadillac who got last place by like half a minute. So, something happened left, I don't know why. But anyways, off to the South Race. Alright, so our South Race takes us to, uh, Silverstone. Another track that I hate, so, uh, here we go. Eight laps around here. And hooray, I actually did not run the engine for once. Good. I was just waiting to do that right now, but no. But yeah, eight laps around here. And like always, this is probably going to be an difficult race. Just because it's summer snow. And, you know, we all know I hate this crap. So I'm fully not expecting to win my month, or if any. So, yeah. The only thing I am thankful for in this game is that I am actually good at throttle control. That's the one thing I'm happy about right now, is that I actually find a hand of throttle control in this game. And if I didn't know how to do throttle control, this game would be freaking difficult for me. That's one lap in Hannon. Seven more to go. And that was way too fast. I'm actually surprised I still stood on the track. So I'm going to take that turn about 140 miles an hour on that first turn, looks like. And that seems, seems to me uh, either 130 or 120. I'm not sure which. Okay, well, I guess this is going to be an easy... Oh, okay. Look the crap, mate. So, apparently, this is going to be an easy race regardless. Alright. I mean, of course, in a way, I'm glad because I'm not worried about the freaking AI screwing me up all the time. Because we, we all know how much I'm getting sick of that. Still, feel kind of tired inside. This is why me waking up so early. 
I mean, it's been a few hours later, so you should expect me to wake up by now, but not quite yet. Meanwhile, there's a car way from behind everyone else. I don't know when that happens. Nothing really matters to me. I want to figure out how to stay on this trap. And winning. Not the last best cross cloud from the rest of the field because you know they had a run band in this game as well. So yeah, the, the AI do rubber band in this game. But they're way far behind. Now, I don't know what it is about the AI and prototype cars in this game. Well, you know, I don't know what I don't know what it is about the AI and prototype race cars in this game. But they tend to screw up more often when they're in them. I don't know why. Maybe it costs too much uh you know Well not too much, but the fact that these prototypes can hook our cars very easily. And they can get stuck on that for a lot more than other cars. I don't know why, I don't know. And the, and the, the AI tend to screw up easier with prototype race cars. Especially if they're all packed together like they're still doing. So, yeah. Yeah, well, I just... I don't know if I'm pulled away or not, I think the graph is still staring seven seconds. Silverstone. Crap. I was trying to take a drink, but... 
the car just gives me his tongue so flat. know what cars are going to be using from the last two championships this way. Because like I said, from this uh, series onwards, we're going to be using nothing but prototype race cars. So yeah. And I already know what two cars are going to be using. And those are from the last two championships. For last, uh, for the uh, endurance race, which is going to be the last thing to do in this let's play, I don't really know what car to use from that. I have a couple of ideas, but I don't know if I'll use them or not. So, yeah. Oh, hi, the turn's right here. Front has not made it. And I'm surprised that some second lane is not going anywhere. Keeps going up and going down, going up and going down. And that's been doing that this whole race. It's just been some seconds the entire time. Still staying at seven seconds. <laughs> kind of hilarious. <clears throat> of course, I have no idea who's in second right now. It may be the other Bentley, it may be the Audis, I don't know. Silver Sun's probably a lot easier with race cars. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, Silver Stone is way easier with Red Trismo. I actually do not mind Silver Stone at Red Trismo 6. I think it's actually a better track than Silver Stone in this game. Although, then again, this game released in 2005, where Red Trismo 6 released in 2013. So yeah. So I mean you can tell that Silver Stone's way easier to run just with sex for obvious reasons. Well, okay, well it may not be easier for you, but it is for me. Mostly because I first think that Grunchen's Bell is way better than the Forza series. But then again, I do like the Forza series anyway. It's just that I like Grand Trismo better. Oh, so the Yelp, so the Yelp Stoudy actually got first. First, he asked me, what the crap, no. The Yelp Stoudy got second on that. And the other Bentley got third. And, um, yeah. And, um, uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, at this point in the game, you get a lot of credits. So, great. 
Anyways, and that's going to be it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a smash and like, and also comment down in the comment section below. Hey, comment on this video, and uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do the final race in the next video. So, this has been a fan of the Lurking Center Google, and I'll see you guys later.